So LeBron, now that you've retired, you can finally take up your dream job. Yep, I'm the new pope. <laughs> I mean, how are you like, I mean, you're not regular pope material. How are you changing things up? Oh, well, I still do all the classics, like uh, denying basic reproductive rights to millions of people. But, you know, I switched it up, too. I had a problem with the old Pope Mobile because I felt like a bird in a cage. So now it's a big open Bentley, and I can say hello to everyone. Um, you know, those are old dude cars. And so, you know, I also had the Vatican Architects build me a stage so I could flex my Pope trophies. Ooh, and flex those Pope tropes you have. We've seen a huge spike in conversions. I mean, I see people in the crowd converting to Catholicism right now. How do you do it? Yeah, well, everyone who converts gets an 8x10 glossy photo of me shirtless. It's the perks that count, and I love all the people, so. You know, speaking of perks, everyone who converts now has entered into a sweepstakes for a personal beach sabbatical with you. And why the beach? Well. <laughs> uh, come on, out with it, James. What is it? Closer to the light of God? Huh? Oh, come on. What, what is it? Come on. All right. Well, what? you know how they say there are more Catholics and like grains of sand in the world and sure, the ocean is like, sure. still not big enough to baptize them all? <laughs> and? I just like dip my toesies in the water. I like put my toes wow. in the water. You hear that? He likes dipping his toes. He's just like us. Most relatable Pope ever. Oh, shucks. Okay. So you've got fans, right? And you've got eternal salvation. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're missing? What do you not have? Oh, time. I, I, don't even, I don't even have time for basketball anymore. Yeah! He's talking about basketball! <laughs> wow. So I, in one, two years when I retire, I'm thinking about becoming the Pope. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I guess what everyone here and me is wondering... Well, look, okay, look. Pope is a solo thing, all right? I don't have uh, this camera crew over here. I don't uh -huh. have this audience or uh -huh. these producers, all right? It's not like the team efforts I used to be a part of, like a basketball. He's talking about basketball! Man! Look, look, all right. I'll show you a little bit of my work. I'll show you how I decide whether people go to heaven or hell. It uses the little passion I have left for basketball. All right, so His Holiness James, being the sprightly athlete he is, has combined his love for basketball with his new job of forgiving sins. We'll be s tossing these signed indulgences into these waste baskets here in order to forgive them. Now, if we miss, these sins are not forgiven. And if I forgive any of these sins, which I'm not going to be forgiving many, you have to drink this holy water I brewed myself. Now, it's non-fat water. Don't worry. You're not going to stretch your new Pope coat. No, this is the holy shroud. This isn't a coat. Okay, now the... Uh, tabernacle handler will go ahead and turn on the discs of chance and we'll get started all right remember this is theologically binding so let's do this okay i'm gonna start with a small sin here a little girl saw her own vagina oh unforgivable all right all right this is connor clifton he's a racist what does god say oh Ooh. unforgiven god speaks through who god speaks through me okay this one's for murder let's see if it's forgiven Ah. Yeah, sometimes murder is justified in the eyes of the Lord. But let's see what happens when you give condoms to poor people. That's a straight ticket to hell. Oh, I don't think so. Let's... What? Ooh, forgiven. What? Well, what about farting on children's lunches? Ah! <laughs> Dang it. That was my sin. All right, kissing your dog on the lips. Oh, come on. Now, you you got to forgive that. Drink that holy water right now. Come Why do on. I have to drink holy water? I am holy water, God, all right? Geez. I'm the Pope. Who How is it? Like me. Huh? I made it myself. Is it good? It's, uh, it's good. This one's for lying. Ha! You're forgiven for lying. What? I said it was good. Ha, drink another one. <laughs> we have fun on this show, and how can fun be a sin? Oh, man. That, that, uh, that really burns my stigmata right here. All right. Uh, this one's for being gay. Ooh. Oh, not forgiven. Sorry, <laughs> Ellen. I'll drink to that. <laughs> this one's for my girlfriend being gay. Ooh, forgiven. Cancels out. Drink up, bigot. All right, all right, you got me. It's a technicality. You got me. <sighs> all right, let's make this next one interesting. Let's make this one about your favorite, eternal salvation. If he makes this soup, we're all going to heaven. Find out about your souls in nine months of the new premiere of Ellen. <laughs> 